In this tutorial, we're going to solve our first problem in which we're going to follow a systematic approach in building our ladder program. The problem is the following. We need to design a ladder program that will turn on a light when start, which is normally open maintain switch, is pressed. If you recall, the best approach to build a ladder program is start with simplifying the problem that we, the problem that we have and by determining the inputs and outputs that are involved. In this example, as you can see, it's already simplified. However, the inputs and outputs involved are light, which is only one output, which is driven by one input, which is the start. As you can see, it's in this example, we only have one output. And if you remember one more time, the number of outputs that we are going to control via this program will state the number of rungs that we need to have. Since we only have one output, as per this example, we can expect a one rung ladder diagram with one instruction for the output which is light and since we only have one input that's driving this light it means we need to have another instruction that refers to this input which is the start now without further analysis for the output since we have only covered the OTE instruction we can go ahead and use the OTE for the output there are other instructions that we can use to energize or de-energize an output since we haven't covered them yet, I'm going to have them in later videos. Uh, let's go ahead and use the OTE for this one. The real question is this right now. Which instruction we are going to use for the start? Is it XIC or XIO? And I need you folks to follow the systematic approach in order to determine, to be determined which instruction to use. Please do not guess. Now, in deciding XIC or XIO, there are a number of methods or approaches, and uh, they are all circulate around the same concept. The one that I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial, I like to call it translate English to binary. What I mean by this, I'm going to read this problem again. And as I read it, I'm going to highlight the terms that represent the states of the inputs and the outputs, and then I'm going to translate them from the English language they are used right now into simply binary zeros and ones. So let's read this one again. Design a ladder program that will turn on. Here you go. The first term that represents the state of the output that we want to achieve is the on state for the light output. When start, which is a normally open maintained switch. So open is the default state for the start which is the input is pressed pressed it reflects or represent the changed state of the switch so th the problem changes to this we need to design a ladder program that will turn one the light remember an on discrete output will be driven by logic one from the plc memory so on translates to one in binary Design a ladder program that will turn one a light when start, which is normally zero, is pressed. So when it's pressed, it will change to the closed state. And one more time, remember, a closed state input will be read into the PLC memory as logic one. So which instruction actually is going to give us this behavior? We want the output to change to one when the input changed state is actually one remember right now the actual change we want the light to be turned on when the input goes from open to close from zero to one so this is the change state that's one the one that we need to take into consideration in our analysis we want the output to be one when the input change state is actually a one which instruction between these two actually does this if you look at the XIO, the output will be 1 when the input actually goes to 0. That's not what we want. What we want, we want the output to go to 1 when the input goes to 1. This is the same direction behavior or a buffer relationship. That's why we can 100% be determined that if we choose an XIC to represent the start of this program, it will fulfill the requirement once the start as long as the start is in the open state it means this instruction would be false and the light would be off anytime they decide to press the switch 
to close it that's when this instruction will be true and it will turn on the it will energize the OTE and the light will be on after we came up with a plan of our ladder logic program based on our analysis right now it's time to implement the solution on the RS logics 5000 as you can see on the screen to the left side we see the default state for the start which is the open normally open maintain switch and of course motor uh, upon start is the off state to the right side you see the program that, that we have just built but right now it's on the software as you can see for the start being a normally open it will read zero in the PLC memory and the program the XIC referring to the start as long as the start is in the open state the XIC would be false because the job of this instruction is to examine start and the uh, XIC will be true if start is closed as long as uh, start is open the XIC is false and as you can see this will yield a false OTE instruction to the right and hence motor will be in the off state anytime I decide to close the switch look at the left side please you see right now the PLC memory is reading one and right now in the program the XIC referring to start will be true because right now it's examining start and it's asking start are you closed the answer is yes as you can see to the left and hence XIC is true and then the OTE will be true right now and it will drive motor to be on and uh, back to the left side you can see the motor is actually driven by one in the PLC memory here we go right now back to open XIC is false uh, OTE is false motor is off close the switch for the start XIC is true being the only input driving motor motor is uh, on right now and you can see it either on the software the green color for the OTE or to the left side you can see it as logic one in the PLC memory